After nearly 46 years since opening its doors, the National Museum of Art and Culture have undergone refurbishment in 2017, commemorating their 40 years of establishment. In their project so far, they have renamed some of the viewing gallery after some of Papua New Guinea's iconic figures and worked to enable ease of disability access. Tamsin Wardley, advisor to the museum, gave an update of other ongoing projects that are in the works. Um, we were very lucky to receive from the Samogan family um, his collection of, of medals. Um, we received those a couple of weeks ago. So they will be proudly on display in the exhibition um, when, when it opens. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. Um, and a number of other activities um, are happening around the exhibition. We'll be, we'll be opening it up to the schools to be part of their school curriculum. Wadley also thanked the national government for their support and the appointment of the new board of trustees and also mentioned the future possibility of creating an online digital collection so that people that cannot come to the museum can view curated artifacts online. Terence Mocha, director of the board of trustees, reiterated the need for more grants from the government. Most of our cultural centers have broken down. Most of our uh, museums in the country are not operating. And, you know, we are losing all this important data and important information and in history. It will be lost forever. And we have to now protect it. And I'm appealing to the uh, Marape Rosso government. Uh, thank you for appointing this board. We need your support in our 24, 2024 budget. So. The National Museum of Art and Culture had a swearing-in of their new Board of Trustees earlier this month. The Board of Trustees are working together to look at avenues where they can raise funds for the museum's future projects. Amanda Ilaitia,